Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of an interesting video. I thought of this idea um, while I was at work where I do all my greatest uh, video idea brainstorms and I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so fun. So I don't know if you guys saw the video I made at the beginning of this year, but I went through every new release from ColourPop and just did like a ColourPop recap, which I'm so excited to do in 2019. I might even have to make it a two-parter because Lord, it's been crazy. But anyway, I thought it would be so fun for you guys and for me just to reflect on what I have purchased from ColourPop this year so far so it was really cool I was just you know perusing through my order history and I went all the way back to the beginning of 2019 so the first thing I ordered from ColourPop was in February and it was the Heartbreaker palette which was a palette basically that they had put together with a bunch of their singles and I actually um, had quite a few of those shades as uh, part of a different palette I picked up from them. So I was a little bit bummed about that, but it is a beautiful like pink, kind of Valentine-y palette and that's kind of what drew me in. And you guys know I was like really into pinks and berry shades on my eyes for some time. So that is the first thing I picked up from ColourPop this year and I honestly have to say I haven't really used it that much, but thus is life, you guys know. I buy a lot of makeup, so it's very easy for me to forget about something <laughs> that I've purchased. So the next order I placed was on March 6th and I ordered some things. I ordered the Just My Luck palette. I can't believe I ordered that in March and just the other day I was sitting on Instagram saying I hadn't used that palette enough. Like that's embarrassing. I bought a Jelly Mud Shadow in Once and Floral. Those are so cool. If you haven't tried the Jelly Mud formula, I've acquired a few more since and they're really good. I also bought Beechwood, which is a So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I don't love the So Juicies, but I know a lot of other people do. I bought the Teaspoon Liner, as well as the Zulu Liner. Those are okay, they're not super duper creamy. They do tug a little bit on the waterline. And they also launched a BFF Liquid Liner, which is their liquid liner, and I bought the black shade. I don't love it. It is $8, so it's kind of affordable, but I don't love the formula and I don't like the applicator, so I don't really use that eyeliner. The next order was March 14th and I bought another Jelly Mud Shadow in Late Bloomer. This is from the Spring Collection and it's very pretty. It's like a duochrome purple blue shadow, as well as the Sweet Talk palette, which again, don't use enough. And then the Exit Liner, which is their white eyeliner, because I wanted to try a white light white eyeliner um, just to have on hand and it's okay it's not my favorite again I just bought it because it was a good price okay the next order I placed was March 21st and this is when they launched the Disney villains collection so I did pick up the misunderstood shadow palette again doesn't get any use in my collection no vacay super shock blush is one of my favorites I I love the Super Shock blush formula and it's beautiful and it's like a hot coral shade and I love it so much. And then I bought another Jelly Mud Shadow, this time in the shade Photosynthesis and it's a beautiful chartreuse color and I do enjoy that so, so much. The next order was April 5th and I picked up the Headliner palette. This was for their festival collection and honestly that's like one of my regrets that I purchased. I kind of want to declutter that one on Poshmark. I just don't like their pressed glitter formula and that's okay. I should have known better but I was so curious and the packaging was so beautiful so I bought it. The next thing I bought um, that same order is the Beach Drop liner set so the neon liners. They're okay I do use them but again just not very creamy. They do tug a little bit on my waterline so I don't use them as much as I would like to. Next I placed an order on April 12th and I bought some juicy glosses for my mom because she loves a good tube, squeezy tube gloss. So I bought her two shades. I bought her dress code and is a habit as well as the world press powder blush, which I haven't really used, but it's a unique color. It's like a purpley shade. So I was curious. And then I bought three of their loose pigments in the neons. They did a power up full for you hundo. And I don't like any of them, so I'm actually planning on decluttering those. And I bought a medium shader brush because I do like color 
props brushes. They're super affordable and really great quality. Okay, the next order I placed was April 27th and I bought another Super Shock blush in the shade Yes She Did, a beautiful shade. It's a little bit darker than I thought, um, so I was a little bit caught off guard, but it is a beautiful shade nonetheless. Close to You Jelly Machado, it's like a beautiful baby pink shade. And then I bought two creme gel color eyeliners in Exit and Swerve. My plan with those was to actually use it as a base for eyeshadow, but I haven't even dug into them yet. They're still sitting there in the packaging, which is kind of embarrassing. Here is definitely a regret of mine. I purchased the Proceed with Caution Shadow Palette, which was their collab palette with Makeup by Shayla. And honestly, it's a nice palette, but I don't use it and I wish I hadn't purchased it. Next, on May 19th, I placed another order to pick up some of the stuff from their birthday collection. And I bought the Catching Sunsets Liquid Lipstick Set because I wanted that hot orange lipstick and I figured why not get a set. Then I got the Glitter Gel in Trippin' on Skies. It's a beautiful glitter. Don't really know what to do with it though because it's like really big chunky glitter. I think it'd be beautiful to wear on the face or even in your hair. Um, maybe 4th of July I'll get a little wild. We'll see how it goes but yeah. I don't know. It just looks so beautiful that I wanted it. Um, Tuned In is another Super Shock blush I picked up because I love the Super Shock formula and it's like a bright pink shade. And then I got the Slice of Life lip bundle because I wanted that hot red blotted lip to wear in the summertime. And then I got the free eyeshadow, the Super Shock shadow for their birthday called Birthday Treat. And then I bought the Main Squeeze palette and again, have not used that palette enough either. Next order I placed was on May 30th because I wanted the new Like a Diamond set with the Blue Moon palette and the So Juicy Gloss in the clear. Um, the palette was sold out at the time I was trying to buy it, so I had to buy it in the set. And then I really, really wanted one of their new sticks. I actually have them close by here so I can show them to you, but they launched these cool little stick products and I got the shade or the set called Call Me uh, Call Me Big Poppy, which is so cute. Like you guys know I love orange blushes, so super excited to have those in my collection. Next order I placed was June 20th and this one was to pick up some stuff from their summer collection. So I bought Cypress Chill, which is a beautiful ultra blotted lip. You guys know I love those with lip gloss. They just pair so well together. And I bought the California Love Palette, which I have not tried yet. And then I picked up two of Kathleen's blushes, which she did in collab with them. My Sun and Stars, which is actually the blush I have on today. And so retrograde. If you guys didn't know about me, I did meet Angelica. Um, very recently and she had mentioned that she wanted so retrograde so I actually gifted that one to her and I am so excited to see what she thinks because I just wore uh, my sun and stars and it's gorgeous so I feel like she's really gonna like so retrograde and then I also picked up their red eyeliner in Venus I actually think that's really creamy so I'm hoping they're maybe doing a new formula of that because it's very very creamy and super nice so excited for that Okay, so the last order I placed from ColourPop was on June 27th, and I'm so, so excited for this. So I ordered another So Retrograde because I knew I wanted that blush, and so I was able to purchase it again. And then I picked up their new Aha uh -huh Honey palette, which I'm so excited for. And again, I love their brushes so much, so I did pick up Catch Some Sun, which was the eyeshadow brush set that they had uh, launched with the new yellow palette. So I hope you enjoyed my little rundown of the orders I had placed with ColourPop so far and some of my like quick reviews, first impression type comments on those purchases. I would encourage all of you to go check out your order history on ColourPop and see what you picked up this year so far. What are your favorites? One of the duds. I'd love to see people make this type of video because that gives me an idea of what products to avoid and what products to look for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!